Welcome viewers, I am your regular host Tane, but today I have a very special guest with me. Let me introduce her to you all. Shambhavi is here for this particular conversation. She has a bachelor's as well as a master's degree in English literature. Also, she has recently cleared UGC net examination. Her alma mater is Patna University. And for those who are not aware, let me accentuate this point. Patna University is quite old, prestigious, and very reputable institution. It also has a very long list of exceptionally brilliant alumni, and now Shambhavi is one of them. So, welcome, Shambhavi. How are you? Uh, I'm good. How do you do? All right, all right. I too am fine. Thanks for asking. And Shambhavi, before I begin this particular conversation, congratulations on clearing net examination and all the best for your upcoming days or the days to come okay so sambhavi in this particular video i will ask you six to seven questions uh, that i have received from the viewers um, and i hope that you will provide the most suitable answer to those questions okay does that sound good to you yeah sure. okay okay so the first question moving towards you is since you have now cleared UGC net examination, please share with the viewers uh, those strategies that you duly followed to clear net examination. Over to you, Shambhavi. Uh, if you have clear net examination, to me, the whole idea of attending classrooms is very important. So I have not taken any coaching classes. For me, the whole syllabus that I covered was during my graduation and my master's. So what I learned in those five years was the base that has created the base for my net examination. Thank you. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I had my master's, uh, I cleared my master's like uh, the last examination for which I appeared was around in the start of May. And then oh. I only had one month to prepare for the net. So mm -hmm. I, uh, uh, that was very over hectic and overwhelming, the, the duration. Certain, it was certain. very small duration. Mm -hmm. So what I think that is the whole base, the base you create is very important. Someone, uh, If someone comes to you and says that you can clear net in one month or two months, it is not possible. Right. Because English literature is a very vast syllabus. If you have the base, you can clear it in one week also because you only need revision. Of course, but if of you don't have the base, so it will be going to be very difficult for you. So mm -hmm. for me, uh, the whole idea that you attend classes, mm -hmm. you uh, engage in daily activity and learn something daily is very mm -hmm. important. So this is the basic strategy. And once you find this, you make your own strategy. Once you get comfortable with the syllabus, you make your own strategy. That's the thing. Right, right, right. And that was a very good answer. And I want viewers to pay attention to what Shambhavi has just said. Uh, I know students, what exactly they do is they think that first we will complete our graduation and master's, then we will enroll ourselves in different coaching institutions. There again, we will spend one and a half year and then if fortune favors us, we will end up clearing net examination. So that's the wrong approach. First, focus and strengthen on your base. First, try to strengthen your base. Focus on your base. And you can very easily uh, make your base quite strong if you pay attention throughout that five-year duration of time that you spend in your graduation and your master's combined together. So that's what somebody yeah, has I would said. like to... Yeah, please. I would like please, to add please. one more point. Please. So, when you see the syllabus of UGC mm -hmm. graduation, sorry, graduation syllabus and master's syllabus, Right. You will find the similarity between the syllabus and the UGC is the syllabus UGC has provided for next. Now you have studied the whole syllabus for five years. You are mm -hmm. repeating those things, you are revising, your teacher comes to you and asks the same questions again and again. Right. right. Now that revision is far better than the revision you are going to do in uh, the duration Coaching of like uh, you think about uh, that uh, we should take a drop and then start a coaching. And then after that, we'll clear the net. No, this is not. I think that the whole five years is a lot of time. Like you can right. learn a lot of things in that time. So syllabus awesome. is similar. You have to just focus on those graduation and master's syllabus. Yeah. So as Shambhavi has rightly mentioned that the duration of five years is a significant duration of time. 
and one can not only cover the entire syllabus but can also have a revisions revision sessions uh, and when he and she answers the questions in the classroom and participates in the discussion so that way you can actually uh, prepare for net examination there is no need to put yourself in extreme pressure in a coaching institution you don't have to become a rat in a rat race right you can learn a lot of things while attending classes so just do one thing do not take your graduation and masters classes lightly so a lot of students make this mistake they think that okay we can very easily ignore the classes we can read and study from the guest paper clear the the graduation and post graduation examinations and then we will sit and start from zero that's the wrong approach you can take that approach but that is not suitable approach okay very good answer shambhavi okay moving to the next question uh, according to you uh, easy moderate or tough according to you what is the level of difficulty of the net examination what do you think about it what is your take on this my answer to this question will be mm-hmm. very similar to my first question sure sure so please, please the whole base you have created mm-hmm. will decide the difficulty level of your paper right i right. have uh, this is my second uh, attempt frankly okay. Okay. the first attempt i gave was during march 2023 that was uh, that uh, at that time i was very much involved in my master like i had a lot of things going on in my college i was preparing or participating in a lot of things so i right. didn't get time to properly revise or read hmm. but when i saw the questions the whole masters and graduation syllabus came to my mind like i have read this and then i jumped to second question and i have read this also but hmm. problem was that i was not prepared i had not revi- uh, like i had not done my revision that was my problem so i figured it out that if you have read everything you mm-hmm. will find the paper easy simple so right. i found my paper easy because i thought that these are the things i have read is just that i can't answer it right now because i don't have the revision i needed that is the thing so once you read things it will be very easy for you uh, indeed uh, like uh, as we know that uh, syllabus is very vast okay mm-hmm. but you have to figure it out that what you have to read and what uh, other things you can skip like uh, for me you should not skip anything right like, you have to read everything so mm. uh, based on that syllabus is uh, you or uh, you do not have to answer every question in that examination like mm. if you are given 100 questions in paper 2 then if you are answering 60 questions that is enough you can clear net so that's the thing it depends on the preparation you have the syllabus you have read and the base you have these are the things which determine the difficulty level uh, like uh, what are you going to face in the examination brilliant brilliant quite perfect quite suitable answer and uh, as the most famous proverb goes if you are failing to prepare you are preparing to fail and pretty much this is what that happens to a lot of students they uh, do not pay attention uh, to their classes uh, in graduation and post graduation and they uh, kind of do not prepare in a very robust and strong manner and when they see the question paper they get over they get afraid they are like no this examination is very tough but as shambhavi has already mentioned if you prepare properly if you go through your entire syllabus properly within the duration of 5 years when you will see the question paper you will immediately realize that these questions i already know in case if there is something that you are quite weak at you can improve it you can brush it because you are already aware of the syllabus you already know what type of questions can come so so it is always better to have good idea of the syllabus the question pattern the questions that can show up in the examination and do not skip even the smallest point because you never know what will show up in the examination very good shambhavi okay moving to the third question what is the pattern of net examinations question paper over to you shambhavi so um, we have two papers paper right. one and paper two okay and uh, as you will see like there are many videos on youtube okay so mm-hmm. i will not go into detail structure but ha huh, for paper one you have 10 units earlier it was said that uh, you will get five questions from each unit five into 10 will be 50 around right. 50 questions right but recently in this examination the examination of june 2023 we saw that there was there was fluctuation in the number of questions There were mm-hmm. units in which questions were asked more, like more than five questions were there in 
uh, in, from a particular unit and uh, vice versa. Right. So this was the whole condition, the fact. But uh, and uh, then we have the second paper, the English literature paper, of and course. in that paper, major focus is on British literature. Mm-hmm. British literature also the part. Actually, I won't say that it is around the nineteenth century or twentieth century, particularly because mm-hmm. every uh, every time we see there is a change of pattern in English paper. Once you will find questions from Shakespeare, like five to six questions from Shakespeare, and this time I didn't find any questions from Shakespeare. Okay. So these are the things you have to just know about. Uh, like you have to cover the whole syllabus. So, right. uh, uh, fifty questions from paper one, a mm-hmm. hundred uh, questions from paper two. These questions combine and they form one fifty questions, and each question carry two marks. With no yeah. negative marking, so uh, that is the beneficial part that you do not have any negative marking. So you can attempt every question. Sometimes luck also. You can basically works. shoot yeah. answers uh, against every question, right? You don't have to be afraid that your marks will be deducted if you click the yeah. wrong. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is the beneficial part because in English literature, you know that you cannot be sure of one thing. Like, right. like there are there are uh, options. Uh, there are questions where you will find that two options are similar, and mm-hmm. you will be confused that which one is right. Now, right. just imagine you have uh, uh, like picked on uh, the wrong uh, wrong answer. Right. And that will be uh, deducting your marks. So mm-hmm. in English literature, it is very important. Uh, like it is a you can say it is a beneficial part or the boon part that. Mm-hmm. You do not have negative marking, so you can use always use elimination method to correct your answers. Certainly, certainly. So viewers, those who do not prepare properly, question can be just like a surprise to you all. The question paper can be very confusing, and if you lack precision, if you do not have that required accuracy, you will not be able to click right answer. So listen to what Madam has rightly mentioned here. go through the syllabus properly for paper 2 it is very important that you cover the entire syllabus of graduation and masters and uh, you will be able to clear this particular examination wonderful okay the fourth question shambhavi uh, please uh, explain this particular thing because a lot of the students are quite confused right so after clearing you can either become a lecturer or you can uh, continue your journey towards phd so keeping this thing in mind i just want to know that what are the perks and opportunities that one can get after clearing net examination so please say something on this so once you clear net examination right now we have seen that there are a lot of people who just go for net again and again but uh, once you clear net examination i would like to say that you have opportunities of becoming assistant professor and mm-hmm. uh, with uh, the time duration like if you have few, uh, you have been in the teaching field for 4 or 5 to 10 years your positions will be increased like uh, you will be assistant professor associate professor then professor and also right. there are a lot of things in which you can go uh, like about which you can go right. like uh, uh, we do not find people know about this that there is a post called research scholar in each institute right and you get and a stipend for that if you uh, hold yeah, that you uh, you exactly you do not need like phd is a different thing and research scholar is a different thing right these are two different things right. phd is like you are involving yourself in a proper course a degree course right. but when you want to get a job in an in an institution you do not but, need to be a, uh, like to be someone who applies for assistant professor only or mm-hmm. ad hoc professor you can go for research scholar job there you have to uh, take uh, the institution will give you a topic the institution oh. has like every institution has a certain projects going on in each department mm-hmm. now on that department you will go and involve yourself as a research scholar you will get a certain amount of money like good amount of money i am not saying that it will be bad like if you are going to a reputed institution Your salary will be around forty to fifty. Right. Uh, obviously, for assistant professor, I will say that um, your first salary will start with fifty plus. And that's a considerable amount. College, you are starting with fifty thousand yeah. rupees. It's a considerable amount. It's a good amount. You can start with so, that. Yeah. It, it uh, also there is a lot of confusion. I like to say like there are institution which will give you only forty to forty thousand rupees as assistant professor. 
it right. is there i will not deny the fact because uh, like i will say here that uh, you will get more than 50 and you will uh, if you are not getting it it will create confusion in your mind so there and are they will blame you respect for worldly they will blame you they will say that you have <laughs> exactly. by saying that yeah okay okay please so, continue uh, there are institutions which will give you only 30 to 40 and you will be like we you have clear net and you are just getting this amount of money but mm-hmm. also if you see it also depends on the institution because if you are in bihar and you are going to apply in a bihar for, for uh, private colleges right so they will right. not give you m- more money frankly right 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 but uh, if you will go for lpu amit these institution these are reputed private institution and they actually take a lot of fees from students so I they know. are also giving a lot of money to their professors also right. so there you will get good amount of money so right. uh, if it is not important that you have to just go into government colleges for job mm. because there are private colleges also which will give you a uh, certain amount of money is just that you have to figure those jobs out like you have to keep searching for those jobs right right yeah so if you go to a big city you will find that there is a private college operating in each and every lane and each and every street right and they basically charge students hefty amount of money so if you want to complete your bachelor's from amit university you will have to pay somewhere around 3 lakh rupees and that certificate you can obtain in bihar in just 10000 rupees right so basically they charge yeah. this much amount of money and they actually use this money to hire professors who actually have cleared net examination so that the students can can have decent uh, standard education or they can have good clarity about the concept and all so yeah that's great and I mean, there mm-hmm. is one more please. thing like it is not uh, known to people like these colleges these uh, colleges sometimes they do not have net qualified teachers like we have pro- teacher, uh, uh, people who are who have clear net and sitting here and then they do not have teachers who have clear net because people are not going to search for it they are just like okay i have clear net now i will get the job that's right, it right, i'm right. not going to look for it that's right. the point you have to go and look for the job then only you will be able to find a good amount also uh i have this point in mind okay i forgot about it let's proceed okay 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 so there is a conspiracy theory uh, which i have gathered from somewhere i don't know whether it is true or not but private universities continuously look for those students who have cleared net examination so if you clear net examination chances are there that they themselves will approach you for the position of assistant professor and so no it doesn't happen how will they know that you have cleared net and give you the job no because let me tell you one thing because what happens that there are youtube channels and all so i have again i am not sure whether this is true or not but because there is a student who is studying at amity university he told me that even professors who come here they just stay here for 3 to 4 months and then they go to some other institutions so they come here looking for the break into this particular uh, field they come here they stay here then they leave here i'm like how how exactly does the university find them fish them out so it was like oh they have a complete uh, dedicated department for that particular purpose only again as i already have mentioned it's a conspiracy theory there is no proof no evidence of that okay it's an it cell sort yeah, of conspiracy no. theory Oh, I'll tell you. Okay, the point I forgot. I'll also mention that. Please, please, so, please. So I'll tell you this: uh, that private institute works at corporate sector. Like in right. corporate sector, we have HR who mm-hmm. will work as human resources. They will bring people who have good profile and who are working, uh, who will be willing to work for less money, right? Right, right. right. Same with private institutions they are not the one uh, like the, the government institution they have this pro- pro- proper department of hr which will, uh, they will definitely hunt for teachers but it's there that usually they don't find it but like right. we have seen that there are not of like do not uh, there are people who have clear net but number is not in large but there are in a lot of institutions like people right. there are like lack of teachers or professors in colleges is just that we do not find the right way to approach them that's the problem like right. i'm still finding the right way to approach them for my job but i believe you will and find uh, uh, some or the other way to approach them uh, yeah okay. and the, uh, the the point right. uh, for uh, net examination there are engineering colleges also where students can apply this is a point which everyone should know 
that uh, apart from uh, the general colleges where you clear your bachelor's of arts or masters apart from that you can also teach in uh, colleges uh, engineering colleges like there is always one department of english in each colleges whether it's engineering agriculture medical they need english department so right, you can right. apply there also so it is one more opportunities for you if you have clear net right because i know a university i will not name that university um, that university offers llb courses right and they basically yeah. hire professors to you know uh, assist students in learning english communication and all they basically they're like okay we have a professor of english language and literature now he or she will help you learn how to communicate in english properly how to improve your presentation skill yeah. so that's a big window of opportunity you can certainly find some or the other thing through that yeah 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 Okay, 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 okay. So, okay, there is a follow-up question that I would like to ask. Uh, I have seen that the student uh, that that aspirants and students uh, retake net examination again and again. So, what is the outcome yeah. they basically look for? Because they have cleared net examination, they again take net examination, they again take net examination. So, what's the entire thing behind this? You know, um, repeated attempt uh, at net examination. So, what's your take on this? Oh. Uh, I'll tell you that uh, usually people who appear for net, they think that now if I will clear JRF, I will get a certain amount of stipend. I will enroll myself in PhD, and mm-hmm. they think that PhD is not an expensive process. So meanwhile, doing my PhD, I'll prepare for UPSC, BPSC, or other civil services examination. It mm-hmm. is a fact. It happens. It's just that we try to ignore that. Okay. Right. That's why the retaking of examination. Let's make peace with this painful fact. Right. Let us make yeah. this fact. Ah, uh, yeah. Please, please. Continue. Yeah, it happens. There. And then, ah, uh, so this is the one idea. And second, the retaking of examination. People mm. think that once you clear JRF, you will get a certain amount. Like, ah, uh, if you have cleared net and enrolled yourself in PhD, there are chances. Like, people are unaware of scholarships mm-hmm. that are not, ah, uh, so ah, uh, like that does not come, like come under uh, UGC or JRF. But they will be getting stipend. Okay, so people are think like, okay, I have to clear JRF because I have to get uh, into uh, reputed colleges also like JNU. You, if you know that JNU does not allow admission if you have clear just net, you need JRF to apply there. So that is the thing. So there are certain institution who, uh, who and they look for JRF. So that is the reason. Like, if someone aspires to go there, they try to retake examination for JRF. Right. But for me, if you do not have that aspiration that you have to just go into JNU, because right. there are a lot of colleges who provide you better PhD educations. So if right. you do not have certain aspiration, you can actually just focus on net, clear net one, and then uh, start looking for PhD colleges or jobs. Once you get there, like the focus, uh, uh, look, like I have cleared my net in June twenty twenty three. Now, if I have to appear in 20, December, I have to prepare months again, right? right? But the duration of six months, for which I will focus on December, I can in that six months I can re- write my research proposal. I can work on a research area, and also I will start applying for different jobs. Okay, so of course, of course. we have to look for different uh, if. A stipend is the issue. You can uh, go for university provided stipend. There are university who provide stipend for your PhD program. Mm. If you are a single girl, right? there is uh, a um, uh, scholarship called Savitri by Phule Scholarship. So right. that amount, the and it is by UGC. If you go and search, there are five scholarships that are provided by UGC. And you can find any scholarship there for your PhD program. So, uh, repeatedly appearing for the sake of JRF, like okay, if you want to try, you can try. It. Like once you clear net, you can try again for JRF. But just don't go and waste your life behind it. That you right. keep trying for JRF and you are not doing anything else because right. in that time, like meanwhile, uh, the whole duration you have wasted for JRF, you can find a good colleges. You can find a you. A, a, Any stipend granted by university, and you can join PhD program, and you can build, you can have experience of two to three years while you prepare ways while preparing for JRF. So this is the thing you should not just go on for preparing it. Viewers, 
don't be greedy for jrf it can cost six long months of your life just keep this yeah, thing exactly. in your mind okay and net itself is quite sufficient in itself so you do not need jrf if you just want to venture out in that particular journey in that particular field right if you want to explore the academic fields if you want to get those parts that shambhavi just have mentioned uh, net would certainly be quite sufficient for you all okay don't be greedy don't just wait for jrf okay you if you want to take jrf if you think that you will certainly clear jrf go for it okay we are not against jrf but if you are just taking a blind chance you're like okay let's see if i can clear it would be better wait hold your horses right because net is sufficient okay that's a very good answer okay i would like to know your take on this uh, question uh, and very concise take if i can ask uh, for it uh, so i have noticed that uh, students who are enrolled in masters program they are also eligible for net examination they can take net examination so uh, correct me if i am wrong uh, so if someone is in masters program should he or she wait for the masters program to end or should he or she if he or she is quite ready with the preparation take net examination right then right now what's your take on this that person should take examination right there it's a fact because the first question uh, which we answer which we dealt with was that uh, the strategy for net examination and that right. is the five year duration now right. the, if you are in masters and you are appearing for the next examination you right. will get the good uh, like uh, uh, very good knowledge about the sky, uh, the uh, type of questions that are asked so it will be very helpful you won't be missing like six months or years for preparation so it is very important it is like very uh, intellectual idea if you go and start giving examination for net during your masters good great like and if you have not prepared just sit for it it is very good like if you sit for it you will get the idea that okay you have read these things in your graduation or masters course here right that's that's great Okay. Ah, uh, one penultimate question uh, that I would like to ask you is, what is the validity of net examination, and for how many days JRF remains valid? Because that's the question a lot of students have asked. Please. Ah, uh, uh, for net examination, it is like, like once you came, you are have your net for your lifetime. You do not need to like okay. uh, go for it again and again. Okay. And for and what JRF, about JRF, I might be wrong. Please, I might please. be wrong, okay, please. but it is. I think it is for two years. Like once you have cleared your JRF, you need to involve. It is for it is for three years, years, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, I I got confused about it. Okay. I think it is for two years. Okay, we'll for look for it. <laughs> okay. Viewers, please check and write in the comment section for how many years JRF remains valid. We would like to know from you because you all will be taking net examination, and if you cannot find this particular answer, do not. <laughs> Remain in college, leave your college, go pick another course. Okay, because you are not made for this thing. Okay, Shambhavi, the last yeah. question, which is not a question, it is basically an advice that I would like to um, receive from you. Now, please say something uh, to the to the aspirants who will be taking examination on far and near future. What uh, are your concluding remarks? Please say something. For like that is not tough. Okay, if you have proper base, net is not tough. what i would like to say is that find your strategy mm -hmm. the way you are comfortable while preparing find your strategy and you will clear net this mm -hmm. is the thing also clear like cover everything uh, i will say arpita karwa okay i'm not promoting her okay i do not have any connection but ha, arpita it's karwa okay, has given a syllabus like a very uh, clear syllabus or uh, divided syllabus on her website So when you then go to her website, you will find a proper syllabus of a uh, UGC net divided syllabus. Now, you take a print out of that syllabus, and that syllabus will let you know that what kind of question, uh, what are the topics you need to cover. Based on that, find good material. NPTEL courses, if you are not in a proper college or you are not able to find the proper guidance from your professor. you can go for nptel courses these are courses which are provided by government of india and iit professors professors from iits of english department they right. deal with those topics so uh, those videos can clear up 
good amount of your weight and after that you have to just uh, keep revising things this is the thing you have to find your strategy keep revising read in detail and read everything like if you are uh, go not going into deep of any idea just read about that idea even the term you have to just keep that term into your mind because elimination works all the time in net examination right, right. so there are uh, circumstances where you will not be able to find accurate answer but you remember or suddenly you strike with the term that yeah that's, i know this that's term. The, you will be able that's, to do it that's the last weapon that a student uses in an examination hall when he or she fails to find out the right answer anyway uh, thank you very much uh, sham babi for managing time out for this particular conversation and viewers listen to what shambhavi has said because she is living the life that you all want to live one day uh, so again thank you very much shambhavi uh, for uh, joining this particular conversation congratulations once again for clearing net examination and all the best uh, for the days to come thank you very much thank you thank you so much and thank you for having